Hey guys, Spider Man here. All my other tutorial videos have failed so far, so I'm going to try to do this one. My voice or video is not working. It's always something. Okay, so this is uh, Uncharted Waters uh, Grand Atlas Online. So it's a really fun game. I just wanted to do a little quick uh, tutorial on it, how it works. If you're new to the game, you just want to see how I just click on this little map on the bottom right. It brings up the big map. Um, go to the school. If you're starting in London, go to the school in London. Uh, it's the only way to learn basic principles of the game kind of thing. Uh, I'm currently at the market. Uh, you see the little swords there, that's the Maritime Guild. Um, that's where you can make money for the game uh, with your ship. Uh, after you go to school you'll be given a you know, crappy little ship to use or a little boat to use, and then you'll get to make money and buy bigger ship eventually. Um, character information is up here, and I'll show you. I just made it to lower seventh night, so I'm pretty happy about that. Last night, uh, this is my formality. This is uh, how well people take me. You know, if you're well dressed, people uh, will communicate with you more. This is disguise. That's uh, you don't have that if you're just beginning. But if you go to Africa or you go to foreign countries, uh, Iraq and places like that, you'll need to put on some sort of disguise, or they won't talk to any English person. Uh, this is my attack power. This is just because I have a certain sword on a special sword, and it gives me extra attack power. I always lose uh, battles when it comes to getting on board. So when I or being boarded, so when I play, I always uh, when I get into a, a sea battle, I always keep my distance and you know don't let them hit me. If they touch you, you're going into a sea battle, and this is defense. Uh, you know, for my personal character, I suppose I don't see it's ever helped me. See, I got a hundred million dollars. I did the selfie contest last week or last month and uh, got my a hundred million dollar check. That helps with money. I'm mainly a trader, but I do. Uh, I got it. That's my adventure level, my uh, trade level, and my battle level. These levels make a big deal when you're going to buy a ship. You need these levels to be certain numbers in order to get certain ships. Uh, I'm always doing trading, so I guess that's why adventure and uh, and trade are up higher. Uh, and I got foods dealer right now. I was a, a minerals dealer before. Um, you can pick whatever class you want. There's adventure. You can be a battle or a trade uh, merchant. I pick trade merchant because it's just easier. You make more money and it's just an uh, easier thing to do when you're starting a game off. So anyway, I want to show you real quick how we do a, how we do a trade. So I go into the market. I, uh, you know most people can figure this out uh, I go to sell uh, I've got no products uh, or I've got products to sell here uh, I just came back from Amsterdam actually when I realized the video from the last one didn't the last uh, game didn't work or the audio I mean it wouldn't pick up my voice so I'll just sell that and now I'll go to buy and I'll buy all his whiskey and all his beer Butter sells good. Cannon sell good. Um, European armor and paper sells good. Uh, let me see. I got some iron there. Fuck it. I'll take the wool too. Okay, so that should be good. Hundred thousand dollars. Let's haggle. Let's see if it works. No, haggle failed. Okay, so it don't matter. Um, now I've done that. Now, instead of running all the way back there, I'm just going to go to the port right here. This is the bank, the school up there, um, the Royal Palace, and this is uh, Middleton Estate. That's how I unlocked a good, got a port perm permits for a lot of the map, map that I have for doing jobs for these guys. So anyway, let's go into the port. I'm going to do a quick job here just to show you how it works. <clears throat> okay, before I go, this is to leave, but this is provisions. I'm going to have to make sure I have provisions. I made sure I have none. 
I've got three days worth. The trip I'm taking is up to Plymouth, and I know from traveling there in my boat, it, if the wind's against me, it takes four or five days. If the wind's with me, it'll take three days. So what I'm going to do is uh, I want to remind you that when you start the game, usually you'll get a fishing rod, uh, yeah, fishing rod or, and bait. Uh, so you can always fish for food, and your storage usually you carry food like butter or ham or sausages or something. You're usually carrying a food stuff or fish. Fish just sells everywhere. You can use that food to uh, make more food in your account. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But for now, if I wanna, I wanna stock up on water. Water's the hardest one to get, and uh, if you run out of water, your sailors will die. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick 50 water. So there, I just have to hit the OK button and I buy it. Uh, food, same thing. I can buy one or two of them. Uh, I fucked up there. Um, I want to take water, but I don't want to take that much. Let's take. I don't have a lot of inventory, so. I'll take 46. That's six days worth. That should be more than enough to get there. Uh, food, like I said, I can do the same thing. I'll just hit the OK button. Boom. Now, I, did, I didn't I did buy food specifically so I could show you something. But let's get on the water and see how this works. Three days worth of food. It's got a warning. But that's OK, because spider mats get your back. Okay. So what I want to do is uh, I use this little map down here on the right-hand side. It's a ball. You can see it's a compass. Uh, I can aim my ship by aiming straight up as I can figure I can miss this point. So double-click on the middle of the screen on the water, and it'll send you in that direction. There's so many people here. It's hard to see my little boat. Look at his boat. Jack Sparrow's fucking huge. So I'm going to just... Uh, Aim for that line, I go off the center mast, right there. And I double click just above my T right there, and that'll put me right in line with where I want to go on the mini map. So I'm going to take this trip, uh, I'll turn this on just for, I know this map well, but I'll turn this on anyway, just to show you. I'm going around this point by Dover, and I'm going to go all the way up here to Plymouth. It's not that far a trip, believe me. I've been down to Africa. So Africa is a long trip from here. Um, the very tip of South Africa to be precise. So I'm going to turn now. I'm past the point. You can't go too close to the rocks. You'll tangle up on them. So now I can see by the pointer on my map, see uh, the little green man, or the little green thing. I can aim the boat now. I want to get this little pointer here to aim pretty close to that Plymouth right there. And right now I'm going pretty close to straight to it. Okay, so I left out the food part because I wanted to show you this part of it all. I can fish. Use your fishing rod. Catch fish. You know what? I'll even turn it on right now. Just It might, might work while we're doing this. Okay, now I can go into the ship fleet right here at the top of the screen. Go down to cargo. Now, if I want to make food, I can go to convert to supplies right here. This is all my goods on, on board. I caught a herring. How nice. So I can go to convert to supplies. So I'll hit that. Uh, the herring didn't show up because I'm closed the map. Actually, I'll just close this and close this. And I'm slightly off track here go back in here cargo now the fish are there the two of them that I got convert to supplies and I can click on these boom boom there there's the two fish in the convert pile and hit uh, OK boom it's gonna tell me converted it to two food and converted the sardine to one food so now if I want I can take the beer and do the same thing beer. Uh, I'm going to do convert a unit. I'm just going to say five beer. Okay. That's going to give me a couple more water. Yeah, 15 more water. So that's a really useful skill to know. I'd say fish 
and uh, you know learn how to convert stuff on your boat directly to food and drink or you're you know because you can go on long trips where you're not understood in the port and you sometimes can't get in the port because you don't have a port pass so nothing scripted here today folks I'm just uh, I'm just winging it here so uh, let's go into this harbor try to give you a quick rundown on what I know I don't know a lot I'm just I've been playing this for two years and I don't know I only know a quarter of the game I can imagine there's sea battles that go on I don't know nothing about them I see how they're down here all the time it's telling me about them but I just don't uh, the game is just so in-depth that I don't uh, follow all that stuff too much okay let's go to the cell menu and oh he's not buying cannons today usually this guy buys that stuff that's why I came here so I'm gonna sell everything as a set so let's see my profit Ooh, sixty six hundred and eight dollars woolen fabric oh, no not a lot of money today out of these guys who I made some money off that though whiskey beer butter European armor paper wool uh, let's sell this Harry and this too okay as you'll notice if I put the wrong thing in here you'll see it's red I'm losing money on that so I got 37 how much did I lose oh quite a bit so don't make that money of the red uh, or that mistake so there you go I have 54,000 is he gonna let me haggle it oh I'm up to 62,000 don't haggle twice in a row it won't work <laughs> so there I just sold my thing I made fifty thousand dollars profit so now I can buy from him uh, cheese is a good seller uh, lavender will sell too buy this malachite this um graphite I guess and let's take the copper ore too why not load right up oh, I still got lots of room let's go with uh fuck I can probably take both of them can't I yeah fuck it I'm taking everything except the bronze 558 so eight less so if I can't fit it I'll go to buy a specified qualify quality quantity Jesus can't talk today eight less than 75 I don't need to do that though let's just go with uh, 60 save a little room in case I need food or something okay let's see if I can haggle them down on the price 273 Ooh, 256 he gave it to me on a deal okay usually that doesn't happen that way for me but it worked this time so I'm gonna go back to the port there's the town official I recommend that you go there and invest in the city you can only invest a maximum of 60 at grand at a time but when you invest in that city you can go to the market and buy extra supplies it'll sell you you know 10 or 15 extra of a certain thing and every time you do a trade that's above 50 50 units it gives you bonus points kind of thing uh, you don't really see them but I know it does it gives it to you down there okay in the church uh, I won't get into that there's dungeons maybe someday I'll get into that but it's too much crap for me to get into right now okay we're here double click on the board official waters are becoming safer okay so let's check my provisions this is the most important thing you can do check your provisions uh, yeah zero days worth of food I can't get much it's water five days at least I have lots of water there one day worth so it's not recommended that you sail with one day but <coughs> here we go I'm gonna go anyway uh, double click on the area I'm just generally picked over here so I don't have
have a lot of room for stuff, but the wind's in my favor today. I don't want this video to take all day, so what I'll do... I don't edit my videos, I just play and go, guys, and this is what you get. Uh, my last video I did a rundown on these, so you can get special equipment when you're in your guild master or universities and places like that, or archives. Um, these are the ones I picked, sail handling. It just uh, makes sure that my sails are set properly and I can go super fast, as you can tell by my wake there, I'm flying along pretty quick. Plus I've got the a bonus that I got, it's a wind god pendant and it gives me 50% more speed for 30 days. That was another special that came with the 100 million with, uh, with the selfie contest on Facebook. Uh, this here one is surveying. I'll show you right now what it does. It brings up this map here. This number here is, uh, you know, latitude and longitude. The one on the left is always east and west. The one on the right is always north and south. So when you're trying to find a coordinate uh, for somewhere, you can follow these things here. And, you know, as you can tell, I'm going down... I'm going east or west. I'm going east right now, really fast. You can tell it's going down. I'm barely traveling south, so the number's going up or down. It's going up. So if I travel north, the number will go down. Uh, if I travel uh, uh, east or west, this number will go down faster. It will go down fast. Oh, the food's exhausted, and I forgot to do this one. So this is uh, fishing. I'm going to turn that on now. I flew through here. This only took me two days so far to bomb down here because I'm going with the wind. So what I can always do is, like I showed you a couple minutes ago, I'll go to my cargo. I'll pick the... I'll convert a unit. I'll pick the cheese. I'll go with... 10 cheese, hit OK, and boom, I just gave myself some food, now I've got 4 days food, 3 days water. That really helps when you're on a, on a, a long distance sea mission, like, um, I'll go to the chart, if I'm traveling, you know, down to Africa or somewhere, that way to hell down here, this takes 30 days to get down here to the, to Cape Town, it takes a long time. So, if I don't want to stop at every town, and I have supplies, I can use them on my trip. It's not always a safe bet to travel a long distance with a lot of cargo. And there's pirates out there. If you get nailed by one of these pirates, uh, let's say a guy in a... Three of them in a bigger, bigger boat than you, you're in big fucking trouble. And I have a lot of guns, but I, I keep a half crew so I can have more food so less food you know it takes more space to get more food if you have a bigger crew but if you get into one of them altercations with them guys and they end up killing you you'll have to get your ship towed number one and they'll take most of your money so if you have three million dollars in your pocket you'll walk away with about you know 50,000 I can imagine and they'll take all your supplies they'll wipe you right out that's why you have to have a bank account on this game I usually run with about three hundred thousand dollars now if I was a smaller guy I a smaller ship I'd probably go with less but my insurance is for um, three million I think so I know I never have three million on my boat so anyway before I go to the market, uh, what's my time? 20, 20 minutes? Okay. It's amazing. I thought I was going to be able to fit all this in a lot shorter time. My first video was 25 minutes with no sound. And I turned the music off and just left the sound effects on this time because I don't know how YouTube thinks about it. Anyway, uh, this is Treat Sailors. Click on the barkeep. These girls here, uh, the clerk, she'll give you food that helps with your vigor. Uh, the vigor it helps me operate all my skills. So, I'm going to treat my sailors, because uh, it's always good to treat your sailors. It makes them happy, makes that little bar of fatigue go away. 
and now I'm going to serve myself because I want my vigor to go up. This is the only way to get your vigor up. Scotch whiskey, and let's go with fried fish. It's the biggest. Okay. Now it didn't fill my vigor up all the way, so what I'll do differently now is I'll go with milk because if you drink too much, it'll uh, affect you. And instead of fried fish, I'll just go with some oatmeal haggis. There we go. And my vigor is full, and I'll hit OK. There we go. We've been to the bar. Oh, yeah, there's seafarers uh, right there and a merchant. That's how you buy crew for your ship. Click on them, guys, and you can buy, buy crews. Okay, guys, well, uh, I'm going to run us up to the market real quick, sell our goods. And uh, I can't stress enough, go to the school if you're just beginning. You have to go to the school. You can't really, this game, you can wing it a little bit, but you can't wing it all the way. You, you need to know certain key elements, and that's what the school's for. The basics of, uh, of everything. It, it'll seem a little stupid at first, but you'll realize, because you'll go up in levels, and you'll be able to get better ships uh, right away. At least go to the third school. The third one's, I think, in Venice. So I went to this one, and then I went to the one in Amsterdam, and then I went to the one in Venice. And that's where I kind of stopped. I think it's Venice or Genoa. I can't remember. So anyway, we're going to sell our stuff here. I'm going to go click to sell set, because I want to sell everything. And uh, I'm going to sell my cheese, my lavender. Oh, there's no money for that stuff here today. It's all right. Copper ore. That's why I bought a lot of stuff, because now I can sell everything uh, that I've got. Okay, I can't sell none of that. I can't, I'll just lose money. Let's haggle them. 83 to 93, I made 10 grand for haggling. That doesn't always work. See, if you're dressed well, it does work, you know, most of the time. But if you're not dressed well, if you're just starting off and you're in that goofy little blue beginner outfit, uh, the trades don't, that works about 50% of the time. So here we are. I'm going to buy the whiskey, the beer, the butter, the cannons. Got lots of cannons. European armor. Paper sells good. Okay, that's enough for there. 91,000. Let's see if I can haggle them again. Oh, I did. Usually I can't haggle them twice in a row. I got lucky twice in both places. 85,000. I'll take that. Okay, guys. Well, this is Spider Matt here, and, uh,. I want you to subscribe, and I hope it was informative, and if you watch my video, and you have any questions at all, and I know about, and I can, you know, I check my YouTube every day, it comes to my Gmail, if there's any questions at all, and I know the answer, I will definitely make another video to show you how to do it, I need ideas, I don't have a big subscriber base, so, you know, uh, share the shit out of this if you can and uh, thanks a lot guys uh, we'll come back to it another time spider mat out